What's up, YouTube? You're watching Faith by Flight. My name is Cole. Welcome to the last video in the series where I'm talking about becoming a naval officer. I went through OCS, so I'm going to speak about OCS. There are two other commissioning sources you can go through, which is ROTC and the Naval Academy. I didn't go to either of those, obviously. So if you went to four years of college, you want to join the Navy, here's the best option for you. So what is OCS? OCS is Officer Candidate School for the Navy. They're going to take you from being a civilian into an ensign. So it's a pretty cool process that actually takes a relatively short amount of time uh, to do. It is a voluntary program. You signed up for this, so make sure your head's in the right spot before you even show up. It is now 13 weeks of training. It was 12 whenever I went. That extra week they added in there is for cyber training, and there's a lot of other stuff that goes along with it, I believe. I don't know for sure, though, because I never took part in the 13-week training. It does take place in Newport, Rhode Island. If you go during the winter months, it does get very cold, around 10 degrees, maybe negative 5 with wind chill on some days. So make sure you're mentally prepared from that if you're from the south like I am. But uh, if you go through the May to August time frame, it is beautiful weather throughout that entire time. Before you get to OCS, make sure you are in shape. If you are not physically prepared to go, do not go. Tell your recruiter you need another three to six weeks to train. You need to be able to hit at least a sat medium, sat high before you even show up so that you can pass your PRT. So make sure you can meet those requirements with proper form and doing the run and everything all in one shot because if you break it up over a couple days like, oh, I'm going to do the sit-ups today or the push-ups the next you know, you're you're not really running the entire PRT to see if you can do it. So make sure you get somebody, run the PRT with them before you go. Make sure you can do it. If you receive Bravo knowledge, go ahead and learn it. It will help you out in the long run. If you don't receive Bravo knowledge, don't worry. You are going to be able to learn it while you're there. Get mentally prepared. You're going to have a lot of time being berated for things that are either in or out of your control. Um, you will be scrutinized on anything and everything you do. It's all to build discipline, so don't take it personally. Nothing at OCS is personal. So if you receive some, like somebody's yelling at you or something, you know, just shrug it off, keep on moving, learn from it though. On the picture to the right here is the 12 week bridge, now the 13 week bridge, I guess. Whenever you arrive, you're gonna cross this bridge onto the island, and the only way you're getting back across that bridge is if you graduate or if you quit so try to stay on the island until you graduate i will stress this one major point you will be going to the mini next on in dark sunday do not buy the shoes if they don't fit properly we had a lot of people who have to med down because they have shin splints because the shoes weren't right for them so on a lot of the list online it says to bring your own pair of shoes bring a good pair of running shoes just in case these don't work out for you and then don't feel obligated to buy anything that doesn't fit. That includes shirts, jackets, uh, boots, so on and so forth. Because if they don't fit, they can special order them for you and get you all kinds of setup. So in Doc Week, this first phase you're going to go into whenever you show up. It's weeks one through three. Your first bit is going to be doing paperwork on check-in Sunday. So you're going to be doing a lot of paperwork. You're going to be under the Candio class, and they're going to be pushing you through the entire day. Um, it does get very stressful just... Keep your keep your brain turned on, pay attention, and just do what you're told. It's really not that difficult. You know, just get to the next chow. You will meet your class team during this first couple of weeks. Uh, you're going to have an event called First Friday. There's another video of that on the Navy website. You can go check that out to learn a little bit more about it. And then you have your PRT, which is your physical uh, readiness test. Make sure you're capable of finishing that. And you're going to get real familiar with this little thing called the OCR. Make sure you're studying that thing inside and out. You're going to have a little cutout of it. Make sure you're looking in that. And then there's also some things in the actual OCR that you're going to need to know that you're not going to be able to learn from your little booklet. And then eight people from your class, at least from when I went through, are going to have job assignments. So try to get a job if you can. You will be able to talk with the class team. You'll get to learn a little bit from them. Uh, you will receive a little bit more criticism than the rest of the class because you will be in charge of the class for about eight weeks during that time frame. And then you have RLP. There's a lot of information on the internet about this. The two things I will stress for this is pay attention to the details and study your Bravo. If you can do both those things, you're going to be fine and just, just endure the push. All right. So 
There's this one class called H class. It's our remedial holding company, and it's for all your rollbacks. So if you fail a rollable event, so that would be that first PRT, RLP, uh, any of the physical readiness tests from then on out, your inspections, uh, any of your class tests, stuff like that, you'll get rolled back into H class. You'll have three weeks to either get better or stay the same. If you stay the same, you're going to stay in H class. So make sure you're always seeking to improve. Um, if you get medically like held back, either you like hurt your knee, uh, you get really sick, you know, they'll roll you back in there, but don't feel bad that you went to H class. You know, it's just another opportunity to get better and they give you time in the gym so you can go and work on your physical fitness while you're down there. So it's not really a bad deal. You got plenty of time during the day to look at your Bravo knowledge. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Just make sure you don't get stuck down there. Always seek to improve. Your jock phase, junior officer candidate phase, is weeks four through six. You're going to be given a little bit more responsibility during this phase. Uh, you'll still be under the class team, but the candios that were uh, over you during indoc phase. They have graduated at this point. They're out the door. So now you're in charge of your own company. The class team is going to be keeping a pretty close eye on what you do. Uh, they may or may not take you to and from class still. So make sure you're paying attention to what the agenda is for the day. There will be a lot of PowerPoints. Uh, try to stay awake. Uh, don't do anything stupid. You will be doing rifle drill. It's not that difficult. Just pay attention, do what you're told. Uh, you may get pushed while doing rifle drill, so uh, just be prepared for that if you take off the DI. And then you'll have six week inspection, which will be in your khakis. Once again, make sure you're paying attention to the details. This is another rollable event. Uh, I believe there's another PRT during one of these weeks, so make sure you can pass that. And then Charlie Knowledge isn't all that difficult. It should only take you like three or four days to learn all of it. And then you need to start working on your Delta Knowledge, which comes into play during your SOC phase, which is your senior officer candidate phase. During this phase, you're going to be wearing khakis instead of uh, your camis. So. This is a pretty nice phase. The class team kind of loosens up its reins on you. You're in control of getting yourself to and from class. Uh, so make sure you're following instructions from those that were put in charge of your class. You're going to be doing a lot of courses. So you're going to be doing moat boards. You're going to be learning history, uh, navigation. I think we did some engineering and weapons in there as well. All these things are testable. Um, and then you're going to have your big divo test which will basically cover anything and everything. And you'll, if you don't pass that, you're going to get rolled out. So make sure you don't roll out. You're going to be doing a couple trainers. You're going to be doing wet trainer, fire trainer. I don't really want to talk too much about that. I'll let you experience it on your own. And then you'll have eighth week inspection, which is all your Delta knowledge. Once again, pay attention to the details and make sure whenever you're learning your Delta knowledge, start in one section and then move to the others. You'll understand that a little bit more whenever you get to it. And then the giant culminating event is battle stations, which there's some information on the internet about that. Uh, I'm not going to get too into it because I'm not supposed to really say anything about it, but, uh, it is an entire day. It's a lot of fun if you make it fun. So just push through it. And then after you get through battle stations, you become a candio or a candidate officer. This will be weeks 10 through 12. You'll be wearing your khakis with your combo cover. Uh, the reins are pretty much off at this point. You're going to be in charge of the in dock class that is coming in. So make sure that you are organized and that you're raising the indox properly. They will replicate what you teach them on down the line. So make sure that you're, that you're basically making them better than your candios made you. Uh, you're gonna be given a lot of opportunity to go and talk with your class team, doing mentorship and stuff like that. So make sure you take advantage of it and go learn from from them. If you're SWO, go talk to the lieutenants that were in the SWO area. If you're aviation, go talk to lieutenants and the lieutenant commanders that were in the aviation field. You will learn a lot from them. Week 13 is new. I don't really know anything about it. I just know that you'll be called Super Candios. So that's pretty much it along those lines. Uh, a couple extra things to remember while you're there. Plan your time properly. There's a time to study and a time to sleep. So make sure you're getting enough sleep and make sure you're giving yourself enough time to study. And then just remember someone weaker and dumber has made it through. So if you start getting broken down a little bit, start having a little pity party, everything's so tough, just remember someone dumber and weaker has made it through and you, you can push through as well. 
OCS is difficult, but it's not hard. Just keep your head down, pay attention, push through, and you'll be good to go. And you made the decision to go, so yeah, just stay motivated, push through, and you'll be fine. It's really not that bad. The 12 weeks goes by, or 13 weeks now, it goes by relatively quickly. Uh, jock phase was about the slowest thing there. It felt more like sophomore year of college or high school. You know, you're just kind of in limbo at that point. So just get through it. Uh, it's just one step in the process. Don't quit just because you start feeling bad. You're going to be missing out on a huge career of opportunity. So if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. I'll put my email in the description or just put something in the comments and I will make sure to answer it. But uh, that is it for this series and I'll make sure to make a couple more videos after I get through API. I will uh, make another video on that, tell you what to expect. So I will catch y'all in the next one.